the International Rescue Committee was founded about 75 years ago to assist primarily artists and intellectuals who were fleeing the Nazis. It was founded at the request of Albert Einstein. So uh, that work has continued since that time, assisting refugees who were fleeing persecution, usually on the basis of race, religion, or political belief. The U.S. program is, uh, you know, is a great humanitarian tradition. It's a credit to our nation, but it, it is uh, in need of some reform. Uh, it really needs to be rethought in light of the needs of the currently arriving refugees. Part of it is resources, but part of it is also just more effective coordination. There are a number of federal agencies involved in this program, uh, but there's no one agency or individual that has overarching authority or responsibility for ensuring that the program operates in a well-organized, coherent fashion. The refugees certainly, I think, bring a lot of energy, talent, uh, entrepreneurial spirit, uh, and that's been proven through the years. There are many you know, prominent ind individuals, such as Andrew Grove, the founder of Intel, who arrived as a refugee uh, to New York and was assisted by IRC. So I there are many examples of that, of people who've come into this country as refugees and have been enormously successful, or certainly their children have been. And they're deeply appreciative of the opportunities that have been provided to them, and they contribute greatly to uh, the communities that they become a part of. Certainly there are some costs. Many of them are funded through the Department of Health and Human Services, which provides grants to the states to cover um, medical costs for refugees. So many of those costs are reimbursable. And I think it's important to recognize that refugees do go to work, and the majority go to work within six months to a year. So they are contributing very quickly uh, to, the, to the tax base of those communities. They're paying income taxes. They're paying property taxes, there are starting businesses. So, you know, short term, yes, there's a cost. In the long term, I believe there's a significant economic benefit to the receiving communities.